All right, I have all the pieces that we did earlier this week, which was, I think, yesterday. Was it Wednesday? It was on Wednesday. So now we're going to be actually cutting this um, plaid. And I laid it out, and I'm pinning it so that it will be... Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. We're making the Clueless Jacket, and we're using a fabric from Spoonflower. This fabric... Ooh, that is way up there. Let me see. Yeah. Anyway, this fabric is a lightweight twill which means that it's kind of like a lightweight jean fabric. And I think you guys enjoy watching this process. Now, if you are just coming in, you will be able to see all of this later, and you can just um, fast forward if you need to. The uh, information that's on the bottom of the screen will help you know how to fast forward. Okay? Hello. Good to see you, Daphne. I think my table is a little crooked. Let's pull it this way. No, it's a little crooked. So you guys are seeing it as crooked, but it's not crooked. Okay, there we go. That way you can see more. All right, I want you guys to see all of it. So I'll just put some of that stuff behind me. Oh, now I see your comments. Boy, the comments come in late. I don't understand that. Every once in a while, we need to tweak our little live streams and stuff like that. This is a costume for my granddaughter, and she has never had a jacket. This is her first jacket, so I am actually making it to where... Let's see, hold on. Okay, I don't know where my step stool is. I need to make it easier for you guys to see. Give me a thumbs up if you guys see okay. I have my camera way up at the top this time and I can't reach it because I wanted you guys to see everything. Well, that's the best I can do, y'all. You're going to get a little bird's eye view, but not a total bird's eye view, okay? But you're getting a good view. All right? Okay. I think that works. Move my water out of the way. I'm not good with my eyesight, so my computer is on the other side of this table, which makes it difficult for me to read your comments. So if I read your comments late, please forgive me. But that's the <laughs> that's the eyesight of that's the eyesight I have. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So now I have water. Right now I have the face of the jacket. I have made sure that this is even all the way across, literally like pinning the lines all the way across so that there won't be any problem with it matching up. And I'm making sure to match notches as I go along. I will not be using any of the fabric except for the facing for this garment. I mean, I'm really trying to be careful because I only have four yards and it's got a three and a quarter inch repeat. Three and three quarter inch repeat. Okay. And I shouldn't have wore these. <laughs> I shouldn't have wore these uh, sleeves because they are getting in the way. All right, let me see if I can pin these sleeves out of the way because they keep moving stuff. All right, so who has been here before and watched the beginning process of me cutting this and fitting it? 
I mean, actually, I did the pattern work. I can't say that I cut it. I did the pattern work, and I had cut the interfacing or the, the muslin the first time. Thumbs up. Thank you. Got it. Good to see you. Emma Jean, where you been? I can't avoid it. Because I want to make larger seam allowances. All right, so this one gets moved over. And I have to have this one here because this notch matches this notch. And Okay. All right, this one should be okay. And then this one here should be okay. So that notch is here. So now we need to match up that notch to this notch. Now this may not match completely because it's on a curve, but we're going to get it as close as possible, which will most likely be in the center, which will be right here, so it'll all align, because this here gets aligned to that. Okay. And then 
at so it goes here, goes here, here, curve there. Okay, now the back. Take my notches. Notch. Okay. I don't think that's the right notch. Oh, that notch goes over there. Well, this notch goes here. Sure, these notes are going in the right place that this can make this song together. It uh works. All right, real quick, you guys. All right, sorry, you guys. That was my birthday girl. Good afternoon, Sharon. Oh, the muslin video. Yeah, you have to watch that from Wednesday. Oh, spoon flower. It's not that hard, actually. You just kind of have to know what you're looking for. Because when I searched on spoon flower, it was kind of hard. Okay, so this is almost going under so the back the under collar just goes to the back it goes like this so that's the back and so this front goes here. So this goes here, which is right here. Okay, so it's matching up. It's going here. It's going to come right at this top, which is at the top of this, because this is going to swing down. So when that swings down, it's going to hit right where it needs to hit. Okay. That's all I need to make sure of. Now that door is really confusing. So now let's get this back. All right. So this back hits. This is the underarm. So the back hits right here. And then it curves and goes to here. All right, so this is the back, which means if this goes to that front right there, then this back is going to hit here, right there. This is the back going to the back. So now I need to make sure that they are even. But I don't know if I can make the back even if I want to make the side even. I'd rather, I'd rather, rather have the side match the back. 
rather than have it the other way around. So, with that being the case, let's try this one more time just to make sure. So that's correct. Go back where I had it. Straighten the grain. Now match the back to the side seams. That means this one is going to be here. Now I have a video on matching large scale prints. I'll have to add that to the, the system later. Okay, that's going to work. Now, all right, we're good. Let's keep going. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. This is the front. I should pin it. I usually... Let me do one up. Let's make sure this is even. Yes, it's even. Each piece has to be matching. So I don't mind cutting around, making sure everything matches. That's where you end up with a lot of waste, but it's okay. I have to shift a little bit. Account. Some of this fabric stretches. They did a good job making sure that fabric was straight. They really did do a good job. All right, so what I'm going to do is mark seam allowance around it. I'm marking extra seam allowance, three quarter inch seam allowance. Give me some play. I need play. <laughs> Just in case I need to make it bigger in any place. Now, we don't need to do anything to the neckline. We just need to leave the neckline like it is. You can't do any playing around with, with the front. Center front. Or the hem, for that matter. But the side seams and all that good stuff, you can, you can uh, give yourself some, some circumference play. There we go. Shoulder seams. Oh, I meant to make the bottom of this, uh, oh, well, I meant to make the bottom of this thing. Okay, this is on. Okay. This part is on the finishing line, so it can end up 
that's okay. That finish. Yeah, it will do it. All right, so let's see. Maybe I could put that up here. Two pockets. Over. All right, there we go. We got the pocket right there. You have to make sure it matches on both sides. So for now, I'm just gonna cut that big little area, big little, big little. <laughs> And I'll match it up later. If I need to shift or move it around, I can do that later. Okay. Let's sit this here for a second to the side. And now for the side seam and this sleeve. Sorry about the noise. This is me keeping everything close together. Oh, she's gonna love this. I get to go fit it for her today. Yeah, she needed that. She needed that. <laughs> That little placket to pick up my granddaughter from school. You guys know safety precautions they have. I have the placket for picking her up for the uh, car line, the car rider. And she's calling me saying, where is it? What's the number? I don't know the number. <laughs> Uh, she should pick it up when it was <laughs> y'all came over here. This is really how I go faster. I actually, when I go fast, I usually um, do this and I make sure that they match. really supposed to pin these so make sure you pin this stuff together pin along each one see this here goes here I did this on the first part before you guys got on here, so <laughs> just so you know. And because I'm getting ready to do the back, Anybody? Hi, Alyssa. Good to see you. This is a fun project. Interfacing, very important. Yes, it is. Sewing fullness in the sleeve caps. Nice roll on the lapels. That's always a good thing. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes. I got right started, you guys, when you when you came in. I, I apologize. I mean, I literally started as soon as I logged in. Because this is uh this is that Friday Souls project. Get it done. I mean, I literally turned the camera on and started. Okay, now it should match the rest of the way. See, this is a little off a little bit. Sometimes, well, I straighten the grain on the, um, after I finish pressing it, but sometimes it jumps a couple of lines. That's why you that's why you pin all the way across. So that way it won't shift. Okay. Alright, so now we are doing the back. Woo! I'm breathing hard. Did you guys notice that? <laughs> Alright, now I thought I lined up this back to the side seam. Did I use a different one? I suppose we're using the right back. Left. Left front. Side right front. Oh. Oh. I used the wrong one. But that's okay, it's the same. All right, let's do this. Okay. I could have swore I just did this though, guys. My brain is, let's get these seam allowances straight first. I mean, our grain lines before I match up the seams. All right, I need to make sure this back seam is straight. I could have swore I just did this. Here I know I, I just, <laughs> that's why I just done it, did this. All right, well, we shall do it again. Oh, I was just matching the notch up here. That's all I was doing at first. And I added some in the back to give her some room. Oh, I did it on the back side. Ah! <laughs> Let's turn it to the right. Let's. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm back on track. Okay. Now we're going to start at a dark line. We're going to start at a dark line. I don't have my fabric over here. I don't have my fabric up there. So I need to shift down. I don't have enough fabric. I don't have enough on the edges over here. You know what? I can come from that side. That way, I can have this part on a dark on a dark line. There. Double check. Oops, seam allowance. Okay. 
to make sure I have this correctly. Because I hear a lot of changes. All I'm doing right now is giving her more than this gray landscape. like the way you match the plaids. Thank you. Great technique. Well, good. You learned that today. I learned that so long ago because sometimes you don't have room to lay the whole thing out. And in order to make sure you match everything, you have, there's, you just have to make sure you match everything. And sometimes you don't have all that extra. I know it's nice to have a big table and everything. I have a pretty big table, but I don't think it's as big as it could be. I've seen some tables that are really pretty, pretty long. All right. Since I can't find my ruler, I'll use this one. Okay, all right, I don't have room at the top, so I'm going to have to drag it down here to match and then get the seam allowance to match, I mean the grain line, match the grain line. That's the best we're going to do for this back to match. I have it all the way going across from the front to the back. There we go. Oh, yes, that's going to be nice. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> of course, we're going to give more room. Pin this down. Add more room for extra seam allowance, especially in the back. Because that will make a big difference. I keep picking up the wrong pins. I have all my pins mixed in. Now, when you do the back for the lining, you see this pink on here and it's all covered. If you didn't see it on our last video, I had, I put the lining on top, kind of nested on top of the main pattern piece. So when I get ready to cut the lining, I'm going to actually cut the lining outside and then trim off an inch at the bottom. I got a feeling I'm not going to have enough lining because I only have two yards. But of course, since I'm not having to worry about matching, I might be okay. Because this is a twill, I can use my awl to... Make sure it's, whoop, there we go, to match it up. All right, now, there are other pieces. What are our other pieces? The 
they all fell on the floor. We have the bag done. Okay. I have the front, the side front. The facing needs to be done. The facing. I think I have enough for the skirt. Oh my goodness, you guys. We're gonna check before I continue. Because we have our collar. And our collar, we have one that needs to be cut. So this is our lining. All right, I need to double check some things. Get anything mixed up. Don't finish until you make sure you have everything. Got all of those pieces. I just look at everything before I move on. This is the inner facing. Okay. So now let's talk about the facing and the upper and under collar. Okay. Let's just make sure. Got the pocket, side front. We have the under sleeve, and I have not cut the upper sleeve. So we need to put the seam allowance in. I'm going to add an inch to the sleeve seam. Let's go ahead and get this. I lengthened this sleeve quite a bit. Uh, well, I actually made it larger quite a bit. And smaller at the bottom. <laughs> That's way too big. Okay, there we go. Now I don't need that sleeve piece. I can just go ahead and draw the seam allowance. I mean, not grain line. I don't know why I keep saying seam allowance in the place of grain line. <laughs> I had music on before I started. You guys know I had to turn it off. <laughs> Long ruler. <clears throat> I have so many rulers up in here. I need a longer ruler, and I can't find that glue in my head up here. So I'm just going to pull out another one. I need to make sure this is straight. Because I'm dealing with. Oh, it is. There. See? Okay, now let's give myself two grain lines, just in case I need them, because it's such a wide, all right, and then we have, okay, so let's go through this again. We got the under sleeve, the upper sleeve needs to be cut, we have the facing, we don't need the lining right now. We got the upper back collar and the upper lower, I mean, yeah, the lower collar. I'm getting stuff out of my way while I'm doing this because it's very important that I don't make the mistake and cut two of the same things. 
I do this with everything when I'm matching this kind of plaid or any kind of large scale print because I cannot, <laughs> no, you cannot afford to make those kind of mistakes. I mean, in any kind of job you're doing, you can't make those kind of mistakes. But in this particular case, it is even more imperative that I do not make uh, a mistake like that. Because I do not have the luxury of running down to the store and getting more of this fabric. So you guys have to think about all of that. Um, so you need, I have a list of the pattern pieces that I put together. So I have the center front cut to, the side front cut to, the back cut to, upper sleeve cut to, elbow, which is the under sleeve cut to, collar cut to, which I'm going to cut two, one on the fold and two on the bias. Front band facing, that's this one here. Back neck facing, that's this one. And then the pocket, which I've already got that lined out. And then my interfacing for the under sleeve. This is for the under sleeve right here. So let me just pin this in place so I won't lose it. And now it's time to go ahead and take my chalk and go around and make sure I have lots of room for the sleeve. Oh, I broke my, my chalk. I love this chalk. I'm giving extra room for uh, for the sleeve because, you know, nothing worse than having tight sleeves, right? Okay. supposed to be my jacket. Ugh, that feels terrible. So I'm making three inch, three, uh, three fourths of an inch seam allowances, plus I'm adding room. So I'm adding to the back of the bicep. I'm adding like a fourth of an inch. That's a half an inch. Just curving it back in. It's going to give a lot of room. Okay. That's going to really be comfortable. I even gave some extra under the arm. Don't need a lot at the at the wrist. <clears throat> you don't need a lot at the wrist. Someone is at the front porch. Oh, okay. <laughs> UPS. All right. All right, that's the under sleeve. So I'll put this to the sides. There's some more fabric. This is a little piece that I'm going to go ahead and use for the back facing, which in my case, does not matter. Let me fold this out of the way while I cut that, which is now I found my pen. I'm going to cut this off to the side because I do not want to. You guys, I am like, I normally do this on the floor, <laughs> this kind of stuff. You only need one back facing. 
So we can use this little scrap piece. Oh no, you need two back facing. My bad. And you actually need it on the fold, don't you? No, you don't need it on the fold. You could put it on the fold. I'll go ahead and put it on the fold. Let me see how much I have in order to use this. So you guys, I was going to tell you, a lot of times uh, people talk about they lose their stuff or anything like that. I, I wanted to share with you guys that I actually use an apron for my work when I'm uh, sewing and stuff so that I don't lose anything while I'm working. And now that my waist is so Today, much. there are six events remaining. Echo. Cancel. Ah! I'm trying to put my put my uh, thing on here. <laughs> there we go. So basically, I wear my apron while I'm working. <laughs> Echo always keep me on on schedule. Okay. So that's why you catching me without knowing where my stuff is. Because usually everything is in my uh, pocket, right where I'm working. Nothing is lost. I have chalk. I have pens, scissors. Literally, I have. I look like I'm, you know, <laughs> working in a, you know, I just have everything. Okay, let's do this sleeve first because the other places I can put them in different on different little angles and different. Ugh. Let's see. I have the bias here. I may be able to take this fabric. I doubt I'll have enough to do this under collar. Ugh. Hey, you guys. <laughs> what if I do the under collar with a little white on it? What do you guys think? Uh, that's not gonna be cool. Uh, I <laughs> that would have white tips, but if I did it, it would have white tips underneath. Oh, this just won't work, you guys. I sure was trying to make that work. I'm just trying to use every little scrap. I mean, every little scrap. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, <laughs> okay, I sure was, I was going to use that. Who would put, I mean, the under collar, I'm going to cut that last because I could use that fabric someplace else. I could take my chances with that. That's, <laughs> that's how I do. All right. All right, there we go. All right. So let me show you my what would work if you have no other choice. <laughs> it sure would. You wanna see your apron? Oh, you do? That's what I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, hold on. Let me show you guys my apron. I have to change screens here. Oh, shucks. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> oh, look, here it is right here. See? <laughs> That's what I use. And my scissors sit like this. And everything sits in here. And I carry everything I need. I have my pens. Some tape paper. I don't know what that is. I have my pens, my rulers, I have measuring tapes, and then in this one, I have my chalks. These are my chalks in here. And then this one here, I have an extra one over here that has uh, markers. You guys know I use a lot of markers. Then on this side, I have notepads to take notes when I'm working. And then I have sections up here 
to hold more markers, which you guys already know I use enough markers to uh, to give some business, a lot of business to these places. So a lot of times when I'm on here working, you guys know I use a whole lot of, of these. So they're usually right here. I got my pink, my blue, my red, my black. I don't put them there much because when I sit down at the sewing machine, they kind of jab me. So I try to put everything over to the side so when I bend down, it doesn't get in the way. But that's pretty much what I do. And of course, I have a, another thing in there. Okay, let's finish this. All right, look, see, I just pulled my scissors out. <laughs> All right, here we go. So cutting this side out. Keep this stuff flat. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I just was lifting this fabric up. You do not lift that fabric up while you're cutting it a plaid. Now, there are some people who would differ from how I do things. So, you guys, all I have to say is please pin it in place or cut it one up, like one side up. I'm going to leave that, that upper collar to the side. Okay. So, now let's go ahead and cut this here. Don't forget to mirror it, though, if you cut it that way. That's kind of funny. Cut it that way. All right. Okay. This will work. All right. She's going to have what she needs. She said, I need to be able to put my phone in my pocket. Me, me. <laughs> oh, these teenagers. Oh, my goodness. Me, me. She's still calling me, me, me. That feels so good. Hold on a moment. I'm going around curves right now. All right. Let's make sure this is nice and smooth. Now, you guys, I was playing around last night on uh, <laughs> on uh, Instagram. I was doing Instagram Reels. Can you believe that? Me on Instagram Reels. All right. Well, I lost a piece of uh, interfacing. Okay, I might have to, let's see. I need to check something. Okay, so this is what I normally do. I'm going to show you guys this. This is what I do for a men's jacket, okay? So I want y'all to see this. So I'll lay the fabric here and for the facing, you can put it on the grain line or you can put it on the roll line. On men's jackets, they do it on the roll line. So when it folds back, it folds back at an angle like this. I'm going to show that to you guys in a minute. Let me go ahead and cut this sleeve. for the sleeve because I'm going to make it bigger. Alright, move this up a little bit. Alright, that way it'll do what it's supposed to do going that way. 
and it'll match. Let's make sure it's going to match. This way. It's gonna curve. It's gonna go like this. It's gonna curve. It's gonna go off a little bit. It's not gonna be complete. Mm. All right, let's see if we can make this. It's supposed to go like that. I mean, it's a curve. And it matches when it gets in the belly, but it doesn't match when it starts getting to the top. It's supposed to match at the top. So I'm going to be more concerned with it matching at the top. So with that being the case, I'm going to move this to where it matches completely at the top. So. happier with that. I'm happier with that. Are you guys happy with that? I'm happy with that. Oh man, I can move it some more. But I can't. I don't have enough. Because I would have to have this. No, it has to be right there. So let's go ahead and get this part pinned in place. Oh my goodness. It is already 140. No, 110. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I didn't see what you guys are saying. Depending on your seam, it may not be that noticeable. Bespoke suits have a totally, they sure do have a totally different under collar, Regina. I didn't think about that. She said use the material. White would work if you have no other choice. Yes, I would do that with that under collar. Okay. A portable sewing kit is what my apron is. You're exactly right. It is definitely a portable sewing kit. <laughs> it is going to be a cute outfit. Hi. Uh, do we have anybody new in the house today? I need to change. I was um, having a problem keeping up with some of these comments on my videos uh, from seven six years ago so i turned off comments on videos what do you guys think about that maybe i'll just go back and turn off comments on those older videos because it's really difficult dealing with all those comments from a video that i don't even remember what i said and i wasn't as smart then either <laughs> okay you know what on here I was going to add to the sleeve itself. So I don't remember what I did. I don't remember what I said on some of those videos, y'all. I was probably talking a whole bunch of crap. This doesn't have any seam allowance at all. I do this this one. So I'm going to put outside of the seam allowance that I'm drawing right now. Can you guys see this really well? This is the true color of the fabric now. <laughs> you can see the true color. Okay. I'll let you see the whole table again in a minute. I'm just working on some real serious small, small pieces. 
thought you might be happy to see this little area here. Okay, so this goes in like that. All right. This part goes in, give her some more room towards the front. That means I'm giving more towards the front of the head of the, the front of the head of the sleeve. Okay. So that's the seam allowance. I know I'm right at the edge of the table, but I cannot move this. My bad. I'm giving more to the back of the sleeve. Right under where your belly of your uh, tricep is. Tricep. <laughs> okay. Now we have the sleeve, the under sleeve. So we got the upper sleeve, the under sleeve. Now we're going to do the back. Did I already trace this? Okay. I'm going to have a seam allowance here. So I cut some out of, out of there. I'm not gonna worry about the collar and the under collar here. Leave that just what it is. I'm gonna add some to the back. Now, uh, the back, I'm gonna do one inch. One inch S A. Okay. I have my pens and pencils in my pocket. Let me put everything in my pocket so I won't get confused and go looking for things someplace else. There we go. Now. Now I'm being very thoughtful of what I need as far as my skirt is concerned. So I know my skirt, I'm going to use some of this here as my as my seam allow as my skirt band, skirt uh waistband. Oh, you would wear, yeah, I expect her to wear this after uh, Halloween. Well, welcome, Daphne. This is your second time here. Thank you for coming. This is called Canary Yellow. I think it's called Goldenrod. When I looked it up on the uh, computer, let's see. It's called, where's my receipt? It's called... Ew. Uh yeah, yeah. I'm not real sure what this is called. Share shares plaid repeat basic 187 DPI design ID yesterday collection is the designer. Uh item number is on here. Doesn't really say the color, but I know when I was searching for it, it said something about golden. So hmm. Can't really tell you. All I know is this matching zipper is called Spark Gold. So everybody's uh, Pantone usage is different. So Canary is one of those words that is a Pantone discussion. Not a discussion I have on the regular.
There we go. All right. I'm going to save this too. You never know. I might need that. All right. Let's go ahead and mark this little portion here so I won't forget. I like to use the all when I'm marking uh, dots. mark inside of where I'm going to stitch because it all could leave a bad mark. It's called a punch hole. I gotta go, gotta go someplace today. All right. So I don't mark, I'm I, when I have a large seam allowance, I go ahead and mark the seam allowance so that I won't forget especially for the hems. Okay, keep that in mind. All right, let's go down this list. Okay, center front. Let's do center front. Do this roll line. We'll do each one at a time. Just make sure I don't miss these. Roll line. This is the roll line. I'm not going to do this for the buttons. I don't use this for the buttons. That is not cool. <laughs> okay. Just for the major parts, like the hems and stuff. Okay. Is right here. Okay, that's done. I'm not going to do the punch holes for the buttons. You can do punch holes for the buttons if you want to. Next one is side front two. Okay. So I'm just going to check these off. Center front, side front, back, cut two. Okay, got that. Upper sleeve. Fringed hem. The only thing that skirt is missing in the big safety, <laughs> safety pin. Oh, like back in the days is a fringed hem. Ah, didn't know that. Okay, so we have the back. Let's go ahead and do the upper sleeve. All righty. We have the upper sleeve. Let's go ahead and do our marks on here. Boy, this is a thick fabric. It says it's lightweight. <laughs> okay. Now, all right, under sleeve. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Okay. Next one, collar. Okay, the collar. 
I don't know why I checked that off. Let's not check that off yet. Let's do a circle. Front facing. Ooh. Then do the front facing. It's right here. Ugh. Pocket. Done. Back neck facing needs to be on the fold. So these two need to be cut. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm down. I'm down and I need to make a... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I forgot to turn my phone on. Uh, do not disturb. I am working. Focus. Work. Okay. There we go. Now nothing up green anymore. All right. I can't wait to see the... <laughs> You're going to see it real soon. Eugenia, I hadn't seen you in a while. Emma Jean, I'm sorry. Ugh. It's funny how we say... I haven't seen you in a while. You guys are, just, you guys are funny. It's like I don't know how any of you look unless you are on Instagram. I wish I could see some of you guys. If you can call your name out on Instagram and say, "Hey, you know, I watch you on YouTube," it would be nice to know that you're there. It's life. It's it's like meeting people you see every day. You know. All right, so for her skirt, clueless skirt, I did the clueless skirt from uh, Taylor Nova. So I did the clueless skirt from Taylor Nova, and I did the jumpsuit for my customer from Taylor Nova. So these are, oh, no, nope, that's not it. Let me go one one. This is her jumpsuit. My customer's jumpsuit from Taylor Nova. Oh Lord, what did I just do? That's the jumpsuit. Nikki jumpsuit. Seven three six three one one. Okay, let's see. Six three. So row three. That's six two one. That's the skirt. Okay, I'm on the right one. That's five four three two. All right. So basically, you guys, I need to find out if I have enough fabric for this skirt. I am sorry. <laughs> But I can't cut this. I, I don't know what to do. I have to be careful. Please do not feel like I am forcing you to look at me fold these pieces together and check. I have to make sure I have enough fabric before I cut these facing and stuff because I might have to cut that facing in half. Alright, four, five, four. Five, four, three. This is three. Look at this skirt. So her skirt is going to be A-line, but I'm going to cut the bottom of it off and make it into a, I don't know what you guys call it, but 
a pleated skirt. So I'm going to cut it off. But I have not fitted it. I don't think I need to do too much fitting to the skirt. But I don't want it riding up. Because I need to probably make a full butt adjustment. A full hip adjustment. Or whatever you want to call it. I need to make a full hip adjustment. You know what I need? I need a cutter. One of those uh, paper cutters. I don't like waiting. I just like to get my pattern like right now. I don't like waiting. So I print my patterns. Because I do not like waiting. I don't like paying all that money. I use uh, ink, ink service. So I don't have to worry about ink except, and I tried to calculate how much ink it would cost for my printer. If I was to buy the laser or the inkjet, and it would cost me almost $300 a year. Whereas doing it this way cost me uh, considerably less. Considerably less. Instagram, yeah, go join Instagram. Who says my niece is lucky? Uh, Imogene, this is for my granddaughter. This is for my granddaughter. That is so cool. Okay, that's just a little sliver, but that's okay. I don't want to miss anything. All I need to do is check. So I'm just going to take whatever this is. It's the back or the front. I'm just going to check. All I need is the length. I need to make sure that I can match the front and back of at least the yoke. If I need to cut the yoke um, not matching or on the bias, I don't know. You know, a lot of you ladies are a lot older than I am. And when you guys say back in the day, <laughs> I really don't know what you're talking about. All right, here we go. I know I change subjects real quick sometimes. Okay, so this is the skirt, main skirt body. So, this will give me the length. Now, I have the length. This is the exact length. No matter how it looks on that pattern or on that lady, she is not wearing a skirt that short. Okay? So, this is going to be 19 inches. She's 5'7", and that's a good size. That's a good length. Okay? Because I just said, I'm not making it if you're going to try to wear it too short. You know I don't make little short shorts, short shorts. So, all right. This is going to tell me what I that I have enough fabric. Okay. 4, 4, 3, 3, 2 is the second skirt. So, that's the second skirt. All I need is the back, and then I can deal with the rest. So, because the back is the same, okay? All right. That's a jumpsuit for my next project for my other uh, customer I'm going to be doing. She's going to get a jumpsuit. And here's my little checklist I made. You guys, I got a little checklist. I don't know if you guys want one. I'll put it in my little box. everything together let me go put this with her projects okay all right let's keep going ready all right so this is granddaughters put it in her folder 
So now we're going to make sure we have enough fabric for the skirt. They don't tell you how much. Hmm. Oh, um, I meant to tell you guys, this is Lakala, okay? So Lakala is giving you guys a 25% discount. If you choose to go purchase their patterns while I sold them, I got a discount for you guys. It's 25% off. I think that is a really good deal. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back, April. Yes, she, she is she is definitely lucky. Okay, so let's see how much I have. Let me show you guys the entire table. All right. We need to get this off of here so you guys can see. All right. We'll just put that over there. All right. So this is the skirt. I just need to make sure I have enough. So this is the front. Let's just check. Okay. Now the bottom is going to be turned into feeding, which means I need to have I'm just going to use exactly whatever I have as straight across. So what I'm going to do for the skirt front and back, I'll do like this part here as the, oh, you guys, your vantage point is so bad. I would not like that if I were you, but oh well. Um, I would take this part as the yoke and then this part will go straight across. So... With that being the case, I would take this here and I would need two of these. So one of these for the front. So let's go right here. And one of these for the back. And let's do a whole. Okay, so if I did it like that, this would be the repeat. Okay, then I go up here. And then this here would have to be the repeat because I have that repeat down there. So this repeat would have to be right here. Okay, so there. All right, so now. All right, so now that's that here. Okay. All right, so now we have that part. So now we say here, this is where the yoke would be. All right. This is the yoke. Now all I have to do is cut this on the fold. Let's just do it like this so I'll know what I'm doing. So this is where they are. Uh, repeat is here so we'll just cut this as the yoke all right so that's the yoke I'm gonna cut this off and this will be the bottom so let's just do this here so this will be the yoke, and then let's do seam allowance five eighths of an inch. Okay, so SA five eighths of an inch, five eighths of an inch. Okay, so oops, I just forgot what I was doing. Let's do it again. We're just gonna fold it in half. This is our all right. This is our pleating. 
Whatever I can get out of this pleating is all I'm going to get. Now this has a cut. <laughs> I don't know why I did. I knew that would happen. Let's use the top. All right, you guys. We're trying to get enough for this out of here. <laughs> we got to. We got to get this fabric. We got to make enough. All right. Let's do this. Trying to make this skirt. Okay. Oh, shucks. That's not enough. Okay. Oh, my God. That repeat is going to be off. We might have to lose some length for her. Because I can't afford that much. I can't afford that much. I'd have to fold it all the way down here. We might be okay. That's it. That's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That's enough. That's plenty. All right. That is the skirt top. Let's just fold this out of the way. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because this is two. This is the front and the back pleats. All right. Let's fold that out of the way. Now let's get the front yoke. Front yoke. Woo! <laughs> Okay, now let's get the front yoke. All right, we need two of these. The, the back is different. So the back yoke is number one and two. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. Here we go. One, 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 two. One, 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 two, and one, three. There we go. This is the yoke. Mm, mm, mm. You guys not going to see me sew this until Monday. Because... <laughs> I can't do that. I need to sew this tomorrow. I'm going to have to do an extra live stream tomorrow. I got to get this done. I still have the uh, blouse. What time is it? I have to, I'll, I'll stay on here till three because this is going to get done because I have to do the sweater, uh, the vest and this skirt. So in a way I'm doing the skirt right now. So on, on, on the next live stream, I'm actually going to just sew the skirt together. I can finish cutting it out, but I have to test the fabric before, since this is such a large plaid. You know what I mean? That is a problem. Okay. Looks like the back yoke is much larger, which is good. I went ahead and did this. There we go. There we go. So this here is the seam allowance. Five eighths inch seam allowance. I don't know why I'm writing on top of this. I shouldn't be writing on top of this thing. I'm sorry. You don't make a mistake. Let me do it over here. All right, now, there we go. Now, this is not on the fold because there's a zipper in the back. I think I did a zipper for her in the back one. She said she didn't like the zipper in the back. Or was it on the side seam? 
Some people have a hard time with zippers being on the, on the side. I know I have a hard time with zippers. Actually, you know what? My shoulder hasn't been hurting. You know, those um, things I've been drinking have been actually helping. I drink the protein shake. So today, my protein shake consisted of... Yes, you know, I told you about the last one I made with the blueberries. So this last one actually tastes pretty good. Okay, this is the skirt back and this is the skirt front. We have enough <laughs> for the facing. Awesome. We have enough for the facing and we have enough to put the collars Let me go ahead and put this stuff away, you guys. I am losing it right now. We have the, um, okay, so one three. So all the threes. We got threes and fours. So threes and fours. Threes and fours is what we're going to use for. is here fours so threes and fours and one five now if you don't know what I'm doing I look at the pattern pieces that I print out and sometimes when I'm on the computer I don't print out all the pages you can do that when you're doing little things you could just look at the parts you need and only print what you need so I print it you know, I'll go on there and I'll print like this is col this is row column row one. Okay, two. See, you can just do that and you get the pieces you need. Like this is the waistband. I don't need the other part of the skirt. I just need these. This is the waistband, and really, I don't need the waistband. I could just draw a waistband. That's one four. I need one five. So one, three, two, three, two, four, two, three, five, four, four, four. Wait a minute. Three, four. Is it going over? Three, two. Now I'm confused. Three, four, three, three. There we go. Is this one? Ah, I got confused. All right, so it's this way: three, three, and three, four, four, four. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the waistband. I'm not gonna waste y'all's time and my time on the waistband because I could cut a waistband later. I could cut a waistband later. This is too much to think about because I got confused. So don't worry about that. All I need to know is, all I need to know right now is do I have enough room for this lapel? Okay. And I think we have. This is the pleated part. Lapel back on fold. And I could use this portion over here. Now let's make sure the skirts are lined up. Let's see what we have down here. Oh, it's off. Whew. Don't get confused now. I'm not gonna worry about that. Those are lined up. Okay, so the lapel takes up too much room. So the lapel takes up too much room, so I'll run the lapel over here. Okay. So.
know I have enough for the skirt now. So now I need to do the collar and the lapels. The lapels are most important. Which, with that being the case, you guys are going to have to take this this way. I like the lapel cut like this. I like the lapels cut like that. All right, where's that collar? Okay, collars are cut on the bias. One of them is. And all of this space here will be for the skirts. All right, we're good. So I'll cut this in a minute, but I want to show you what I'm going to do now. So now that I have these lined up, let's make sure we have, I'm just going to mount this right in that spot right there and then do the same thing here. Okay. So let me just, <laughs> let's just make sure nothing gets confused with what's our skirt and what's not our skirt. So we're going to just cut this piece of fabric out of the way. They're not on the fold. Um, the front looks like it might be on the fold. Let's cut it on the fold. I'll turn it this way. We got to make sure that this goes like this. I might be able to really, I'm going to put this on the fold. I don't like how this A-line is just A-lined at that point there. I have a lot of extra fabric. Oh my God, this is so awesome. There. Okay, we're good. Now, that's the skirt, except for except for the uh, waistband. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do for the waistband? I'm gonna move this all the way over here. Yeah. But I have to make sure this is in the right spot to match the front. Okay. Oh, it's just there. Just there. Oh my God. That is so cool. I am so excited. Uh, oh, crap. as much out of this fabric as I can. As much as I can. I I calculated this <laughs> all 
almost to the T. I feel like I was. <laughs> this is weird. All right. Let me move that over there. Okay, so this goes on the roll line. So that is the roll line. All right. The roll line hits right there. So that part needs to hit right there. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Hmm. Awesome. There we go. You guys, I am deep in the bowels of thinking. <laughs> I don't know why I just put that in the middle like that. I could have moved it over here. Let me move it over here. Save that extra fabric over there. There we go. Now, men usually have theirs folded, and when it folds back, it folds back like this. So, say for instance, it's folded like this, okay? That's a man, that's, that's a woman's, right? And it doesn't match right here. But if you do it the way I'm showing you how to do it, what happens is it gets folded like this. So when you have the garment, it folds this way. So it's on the by it's on the roll line, and the roll line is like this one here. So what actually happens is your garment folds this way. Hold on, I'm going to show you. So it folds this way, right? So if it's on the bias and the row line is like this, then what happens is it folds, the row line is like this here. So it gets folded straight this way. And when it gets folded straight, then it folds like this. I'm going to show you. I got to show you because this is, this is what I've learned. This really makes a difference. on the roll line it folds like this this is how it folds like that and it's supposed to even up right here and right here. So you see what happens when you fold it, when you put this on the bias? You put this on the bias. I did that wrong, but you get the idea. This gets put like this. this way
ends up folding like that. And then you end up going straight across. Is her blouse doing that? Let me see if I'm not going to worry about it. Let me just go ahead and do what I do. If I do what I do and lay this on the straighter grain, then the roll line will get folded like this and it'll fold downward, which is, I mean, oh well. It's just what difference does it make, right? This comes around and goes around the collar on the roll line and goes around your neck. Okay, I'll leave it alone. I'm making myself have a headache. Let's just go ahead and put this on the straight grain and save some of this fabric. Because I'm wasting fabric trying to cut that on the bias. I might need that for the, for the uh, other thing there. Okay. This is the upper collar. Now the upper collar needs to be... Let's just put this here. And then this one will be put here. Upper collar needs to be right here. So that little notch needs to be right there. Okay. There we go. fabric over there again ran out of fabric just where I needed it oh well I knew I shouldn't have cut that sample I knew it I knew it I knew it there we go I knew I shouldn't have cut that. Do you have, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, I can't see. Gee, do it, do it. I just got my pins hooked up. Do you have enough fabric for the jacket? Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I had to check the skirt. Having a problem getting into my patron groups. Okay. All right, that's cool. Just text me, email me. <laughs> uh, I can't tell what that says download the zoom app oh well uh, Alexa you already came to one of the ones already just come in message me on the uh, on the patron app and we'll get you all settled in So you must be having problems with Zoom. Zoom requires an update on a regular basis. So you guys need to remember to check your updates because they keep reminding me to update. And if you don't update, I think it has something to do with their privacy policies. Something like that. Okay, 
We got a match. Wow. That was a lot of work. Now let's do this back. All right. I can throw that away. Those little pieces. Now we need to do this bias. Ugh. Hate wasting fabric. Oh, this will work. It's right up in here. There we go. We can use that. I'll just... Okay, so this is running right in the middle. Why am I putting so much work into this doggone thing? <laughs> it's just a teenager's jacket. Why am I doing all this work? I am so... You guys, sometimes you just don't want to have such high standards. <laughs> sometimes you just want to knock it out and... Woo, I'm glutton for punishment every time I do this kind of stuff. It's like I love it. It's a, it's a love-hate. Okay, so this is the bag and then I need the collar. Oh, shucks. I didn't even check this. I gotta ship that. It's correct down there, but it's not correct up there. I'm gonna have to take that apart. That's okay. All right. That's the under collar. That doesn't matter. Straightened it before I started it when I was doing the iron. So I always do this part first. Always make sure you fold this straight first. You guys, I have gained so much weight. My apron is killing me right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a vice grip. It is not comfortable. center back all right I think we were able to get fabric for the pattern of the skirt the all the pieces of the jacket including the bias under collar and the regular collar on the fold. I think we've done quite well. This is awesome. And the skirt. We got the whole skirt. Yeah. And we have enough fabric to, over here, we have enough fabric to make a a waistband got some waistband up in here and some waistband part over there 37 inch waistband and then the skirt we have this skirt right here it's on the fold I'm gonna give her some extra waistband room Okay, for this part, I'm going to cut I can't move that. That was straight already. I told you guys sometimes this fabric just wants to act kind of funky and wonky. That was already straight. I don't know what happened. I had a pin in there too. Oh well. 
At least I checked, right? You don't want to, you don't want to regret. Okay, no problem. As long as it's right. Okay. Why do I have so much stuff on the end of my table? Okay, thanks. Hello, LPC. Thank you. Hello, all. Good to see you, LPC. All right. We have enough fabric for the jacket now. I am going to cut the facing first because <laughs> you already know I am going to cut the smaller pieces, even if they have to be all biased or whatever. I'm not going to take chances. I shaped the facing kind of weird, didn't I? Oh, hands. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, this was a lot of work. I told you guys I really didn't want to do this on live, but I ran out of time. I didn't think about yesterday being a late day, being so Fridays being at 12 noon is probably asking too much of myself, but it's nicer because I can get a lot more done. I normally come to quote unquote work at uh, 11 or 12 o'clock during the day. Whoo, that was good. So we're done with that. Okay. It's got those skirts. Now let's get these pieces. All right. You know, um, I'm just going to cut this right here. Now, I know you shouldn't cut plaids like this. I would have I would have gotten on the lady at the fabric store and went crazy. Like, uh, please don't do that, woman. All right, that's the skirt. And this is the waistband. Okay. So that's the skirt. Oh my goodness, we did quite well. All right. Let's, let's be frugal. All right, being frugal. I love it when a miter happens at the under collar. I love it. That's gonna be so cute. I just love it. Got a little cut right there. Go away, G man. Boy, you have to be careful about these little areas. Okay. Let 
right. The girl knows how to save some fabric. Check me out. Feeling a little, feeling a little fun right now. I'm feeling a little comfortable. My back is not as stretched out. I'm, my shoulders are a little bit more relaxed now, and <laughs> I'm feeling a little, a little better right now. I know it's not gonna match perfectly at that uh, row line, but you know, let me give or take. And right now, I just decided to to give, not give up, but give a little. Just a little. All right. All right, here we go. This is the back. What do we call this section? So now you see, uh, Sharon, did we pull out enough here? Looks like we were able to get enough of this fabric for both the skirt, the waistband, and the entire jacket, plus the under collar. It doesn't have to have white parts showing. I am very happy. And we have a skaint mount left to make a, a little bag or a little beret or something. Isn't that cute? She can have a beret. All right, now for the collar here. All right, well, I want the collar to have a point. There we go. So I'm going to put the collar right here on that line. So it's going to end right at that little point in the middle of that dark point. You guys happy with how this turned out? <laughs> I know you guys are enjoying this. I love watching people sew and do their... I love watching people who sew. I love watching people who do... Their planners. I do my planner with people who are live streaming occasionally, occasionally. cut the skirt later because I am tired of standing up here. I've been standing up for two hours. We're going to go sit down and I'm going to sit on a stool and do the interfacing for the remaining collar pieces and I already cut the facing interfacing but I haven't cut the, uh, collar, the uh, interfacing for the collar I cut the interfacing already for the back facing. And look at all this we have left over. Oh, I feel so proud. This is this is good. This is our skirt. All right. Go down that list. The back facing. Okay, this is the facing for the. Uh... All right, so I'm going to show you guys what I did for the facing. Um, I put you're supposed to put certain amounts of interfacing right here. So I did layers of and uh, crisscross interfacing for the roll line section. So that way it'll have a certain look to it. Um, one of the big things about that is you have to make sure. Is this a dry iron? I think it's a mortar for the dry iron, for the iron. 
It's supposed to be a dry iron, but it's not a dry iron. Oh, I can't get by. <laughs> I got a studio going on over here. I'm supposed to be able to walk between those tables, but I pushed them together. Whew. My feet are going to be swollen. Let's have a seat and do this. Oh, my God. We didn't do the lining. Ooh, we do. Well, let's do it. You know what? Grandmaster cutting game. <laughs> Thank you, Melita. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> she said <say> Grandmaster. <laughs> but I, sure appreciate, I appreciate that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start sewing this. I'm going to put do the interfacing for the collars. Uh, I need to cut one more interfacing for that back. Uh, we don't need interfacing. Interfacing, I will not put on the garment itself. It is essentially a denim jacket. So I am not trying to st stiffening, do stiffening on any of this. Okay? It, uh, I'm just not. Because it's not, it's already stiff. Now, if you were doing a regular jacket that is a lighter weight fabric, be careful. Just don't put a lot of interfacing in like denim jackets and stuff. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, so keep that in mind. You do what you want to do. But do remember to lay stuff on the bias for the under collar. Even the interfacing needs to get laid on the bias for the underfacing, for the under collar. Okay? So. Only reason I'm doing one of these is because I... Oh my God. There we go. All right, this one is done. So, this is where we have fun and take out my ironing board. My ironing board that my daughter in law left for me. Aha! <laughs> I get to use my ironing board. Okay, the collar, dry iron, water, not drinking water. This is leftover water. You know how you take a bottle of water in your car? I drive around, I have water bottles in my car and I forget to drink it all. So when I drink, when I get home, I have leftover water. This is this is that leftover water. <coughs> I just bring it upstairs and re reuse it. Well, reuse it or use it. I don't like to waste. But just be careful that you don't make a mistake and just think it's your water that you've been drinking. All right. Ugh. Whew. Skirt. <laughs> My apron is hurting. I said that already, and I still have it on. Why do I still have it on? Okay, so this bag is going to get put on the bias. It has to get put on the bias of the interfacing. Just remember that. I mean, not like totally on the bias. I mean, you don't have to, you know, be, you know, legalistic about it. But just make sure it's on the bias. Cause it's gonna overlap a little bit in the back, all right. So that's what controls the bias. And I mean, I have a list of books I can show you guys later if you're interested in them. I can show you a list of books so you now, as far as like the markings and stuff, I don't do the markings until after I finish putting the interfacing on, just so if anybody wants to ask. 
except for the corners right here. I do make sure I do my little punch hole. Alright. What have I did with my punch hole? Guess I won't be using it right now. Alright, so here we go. I got the iron real nice and hot. I use steam. Look at what's gonna happen. Look at that. Look at that mitering. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I love it when I get a good miter underneath the uh, collar. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys just have no idea. I just, I live for that. <laughs> I know I'm getting loud on you guys. I am so sorry. I just, I'm so excited. I'm going to stitch this together and then I'll put another piece of interfacing on it later. But I just wanted to get some of it done right now while I'm over here at this table. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Because when I go to the sewing machine, I can't come back over here. I don't want to move this camera. This camera that's above my head is ridiculous. Okay. I gotta be careful before this stuff goes through and gets on my fabric. I need to use my um, cotton fresh cloth. I have a piece of, I don't want to walk around and put that side of the room. I'll just use this. Here we go. I got hot. All right, now we need to do the collar. I don't need to put any on the collar. I really don't want to put any on the collar. No wonder I use this as a dry iron because this spits. Good. A lot. That's probably why I never put water in it. I should have used my other iron. There we go. All right. Okay, so now you guys, we are going to go ahead and stitch together the main garment. Aren't you excited? Let me turn this iron off because it's spitting. Getting all up on my stuff. This table off. Huh. I really got this new table cover and now it's got ink on it already. I'm gonna have to try to find something to clean this. I don't like that. It's already dirty. I'm not happy. This is all part of the lining. This is the lining fabric right here. So, I'll be doing the lining this weekend. I won't be doing the lining on, on the camera, just so you guys know. So, that's what's going to be happening over here. And, of course, lining can be, whew, it's going to fit right there. Awesome. Lining can be any way you want. So, once I take these pieces off. Gonna do lining for the pocket, lining for the back, lining for the side, and the upper collar. 
Oh, I gotta do lining. No, just this. So lining for that. Lining for the upper collar. Do I even have enough? Oh man, another Tetris. Another game of Tetris. <laughs> Why do I? Okay, you know what? I already decided. The sleeve is gonna get white. I don't because I don't have enough. The sleeve is just gonna get white. That's the best I can do. That's it. Cause I don't have enough. I told you guys I wasn't gonna have enough of this. All right, so I can't cut this out now. I have to find some white. I think I have either beige over there, brown. I think I have some brown. Brown would be good. What do you ladies think? I have some brown. Um, let's see. Oh, I have some beige. I, I think brown. I have a little brown. Oh, we can go real out and have some fun with this. We can put red, but red will show through. What do you guys think here? Let me get some purple. Purple will show through. I guess we'll go with some. What else is there? We can go with this little beige. We'll go with this beige. Okay? That's the best we can do. All right? So we'll leave that one alone. That's the best we can do. Okay? So let's go ahead and get ready to stitch this together. There's nothing else I can do with that. Okay. Oh well. I knew it was gonna happen, but that's okay. I knew that. I knew we weren't gonna have enough. That's just fine. Uh, let me mark these. Mark these dots. These. Line. These are the buttonholes. Buttonholes. Okay. I think it's just in the front. It's just in the front. I have to mark this in the front. buttons are going. It says disappear ink. I hope it disappears. And I have to put this side on in order to do the buttons. Oh, that sound weird. That little crack. Wonder if that's gonna be okay. Put this here for the lining. No, that doesn't need a lining. So this is done. See, this is pretty stiff.
This is good. And I have red thread in the machine. So, uh, lovely. Thank you. Pina, how are you doing? Plastic storage for the pattern. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, now I don't know how you guys match plaids, but I just make sure that I put pins in every little area, like lots of pins. But when you have a curve, there's going to be places where that, that doesn't match, unless you... Our couture store, there is a way to manipulate the fabric a certain way to make it behave the way you want and to go where you want it to go. We are not doing that. But if I were, which is why I don't do stuff like this with clients anymore, <laughs> it's because that's a lot of work. You guys, can y'all believe I'm over here just, <laughs> I'm having some moments here. She wants me to go get that number for her out of the car. I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> oh, it's like. I just got a perfect miter underneath my collar. And then I just got the side seam. Oh my goodness, I am just, I am over here just excited about every little thing I'm doing right now. Okay. Yeah, look at us. You guys are wonderful. There we go. Uh-oh. I'm off on that one. I told you those curves kind of mess you up. You gotta be careful with these curves. Curves always get you. I have to place those curves perfectly and stretch that fabric just a tad. Just a tad. Make sure it's even on the seam line. Don't worry about any place else. Seam line is what matters. The stitching line, not the seam. Stitching line. There you go. Oh my goodness. Ooh ee. Ooh ee. You guys. Ooh. You guys. Let's get this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. I love seeing what I'm doing. All this other stuff is in the way. We don't need that anymore. That's that part there. That part there. That part there. Parking. Yep, that's the parking. There's the parking. That's the pocket. Okay.
This is the fun part of sewing. This is the fun part. This is the part. See, you guys, I had these pins in here. You didn't know I had in here. They were controlling things to keep my pins and stuff from going where they didn't need to go. Keep my fabric from moving. Control these lines here. This is the center back. Make sure it just miters and lines up properly. You don't normally have to put pins on straight seams and stuff. You can sew a lot faster. But I know some people sew way faster than me. But you know how it is. Sorry. I'm trying to put my... Oh, there we go. Looking at that from a distance, you couldn't tell that was a pocket. <laughs> I was hoping so. <laughs> That's what I was hoping. Yes. I will do a lookbook uh, on the next video because we're going to not have a whole lot of time today. To sew, I have to um, get going after I pin this together, and I'll just leave it lying here until I come back. So sorry, ladies, you're not going to be able to see any more. You got to remember, this is a curve, so curves create different looks. You can sure tell this is a thick fabric, though. It's having a hard time for my pins to go into this, though. I need to straighten out these darts because these darts look like they're going at an angle. I don't like that. You can move the darts around because sometimes the pattern is not made for a, a plaid. And so because of that, the way the pattern swings in the back, it may cause some problems for you. So that's something to think about. Holy smoldering smokes. What are you guys thinking so far? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm trying not to knock that down. I just want to lay this out on the table so that we can say good day and good evening. I want to say goodbye to you guys. I have to go. So I'm just trying to lay it, lay it out so you guys can see it. I 
towards this side seems the daughter's going to end up coming like this. Can't do anything about that. I could have. I could have positioned this a little differently. No. Uh, no. I couldn't have. I could have positioned this one differently. But I didn't. I could have moved this one out to where this line hits this. So I kind of made a mistake right here. That line should have, but this, this here line should have been right there. So I might go back and since I have extra fabric and I might put this side piece so that that line will hit, which I already know I'm going to do because I can't handle this. I can't handle that. <laughs> that is not cool. <laughs> uh, no. So I'm going to recut this piece. Thank goodness for extra fabric. Okay. So there we go. These will work. These will work over here. Which is why. Okay. So you guys see that right there. This line here. The pocket is perfect. This line should connect when I come through here. This is the piece of fabric that's off. So I'm going to come back and cut another one of these inside inseam pieces so that it'll fit. So that that will be shifted. Because if it was shifted perfectly like it's supposed to, this is, this is how it would look. Let me show you this. Can't believe I overlooked that. So it should look like it should look like this when it gets sewn in. It's supposed to be just like that when it gets stitched into that little area. Then this comes like that. And then this comes this way. And then this will come down that way. Y'all see it? It'll come perfectly and you won't know there's a dot right there. Because it'll, it'll hit right in the correct place. So now with that being the case, if I put the pocket on there now, You'll see how the pocket falls. The pocket will fall more readily in place. Right there. Now that pocket is going to fall in place. And you shouldn't see it. At all. See that? That's how it's supposed to look. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so will the recut affect the dot? No, the recut will not affect the dot. Awesome job. Thank you, Daphne. I appreciate it. <laughs> I wanted to make me something to wear. Some to wear. Yeah, go right ahead on. <laughs> So that's it. We're going to sew this together. Um, I wanted to give you guys a chance to take a look at it. But yes, this is going to get redone here. This, this side here is going to get redone. This whole piece. Thank goodness for leftover fabric. Oh my goodness. I am so happy I had leftover fa fabric. Okay, but no, it's not going to interfere with the dart at all. The dart is going to look like this when it comes together. That's where the dart is going to come in. It's going to fold just like that. Like that. That's how the dart is going to fall. You see that? And when I recut it, this line is going to be over here. So it's going to end up going right into this all the way across it's going to end up right there 
one continuous line. Isn't that fun? You guys like that? Kualapu. <laughs> I can't see way over there. <laughs> you guys, my eyesight is so bad. The computer is way over there. <laughs> <laughs> my eyesight I can't see way over there <laughs> oh so yeah that's how it looks I'm glad you guys like it <laughs> so that is um, that is the jacket I'm excited. <laughs> Y'all like that, huh? I told you you would like it. It's a lot of fun having all this stuff look like that. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the day, you guys. I appreciate you. You so will the okay, so let's see. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything because I gotta pull out. She said <laughs> oh, she said that means it's Naima, I can't <laughs> that means it's perfection right there. Okay, I got you. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> you guys have been a lot of fun. I'll see y'all on the other side. We're going to do all the finishing of this. I'll go ahead and uh, sew this. We got part, oh, this is part two already. So I'm sorry, that's the wrong uh, thing. So we're going to finish this on Tuesday at five o'clock. We'll be back. <laughs> y'all have a wonderful evening. I'll talk to you later. Have a good Friday evening and a good weekend. Okay, bye. <laughs> y'all have a good day. I shall talk to y'all on the other side of the internet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bye, y'all.